Classic Fairy Tales of the World, Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, Part 2. In the previous episode, the ring giant genie sent Aladdin out of the cave. Aladdin took the oil lamp and went home. Mother! Oh, Aladdin, my child! I was worried about you the whole night. Why did you come home so late? Oh, your clothes are so dirty. It's like you've just crawled out of a cave. Oh, and I don't know why you've brought home this old, ordinary oil lamp. But when she tried to clean the oil lamp, swoosh! A genie, taller and chubbier than the ring genie, appeared. I am the genie from the oil lamp. Your wish is my command. I obey whoever owns this magic lamp. Aladdin's mother saw the lamp genie, who looked like an evil demon, and was so terrified that she fainted. It turned out that this genie, who could satisfy the wishes of its owner, lived in the magic lamp. This was the reason the bad magician wanted the magic lamp so bad. With his previous experience with the ring genie, Aladdin said calmly to the lamp genie, I'm hungry. Please grant me a table of food. Presto! A table of delicacies appeared at once. Aladdin quickly woke his mother. <laughs> mother, get up and eat! We no longer need to worry about not having food to eat. We can even wish for more food to share with people who are starving. But we can't let others know about the magic lamp so that it won't get stolen. With the magic lamp, Aladdin and his mother's life improved. He was also able to help more. Many years later, one day, Aladdin was out when he met a princess and her entourage. The princess's beautiful appearance attracted Aladdin deeply. Mother, listen to my heart thumping nonstop. I want to take the princess as my wife. Oh, silly child. Our family is so poor. The king won't allow you to marry his daughter. Mother, do you still remember the fruit I brought home? The sparkling ones? We can present those to the king. Oh, that's right. I've never seen fruit that sparkles like that before. They may be very valuable. So Aladdin's mother went to seek the king's audience the next day. She brought back good news for Aladdin. The king likes your gift very much. He has agreed to let his daughter marry you. Yay! Aladdin jumped with joy. Genie, please come out. Aladdin rubbed the lamp to summon the lamp genie. Please help me prepare a lot of jewelry and servants, and dress me up to look handsome and dashing. I'll be off to go get my bride. Presto! Aladdin's wishes were granted. Aladdin brought a long line of servants and went to the palace. The king was very satisfied, but he still wanted to test Aladdin. The wedding must be held in a new palace. When you've built the palace, you may marry my daughter. This was not at all difficult for Aladdin. He summoned the lamp genie again. Genie, I want to build a palace more magnificent than the king's palace. Yes, master. Cling, clang. Within one night, a magnificent palace was built. It was amazing. Aladdin and the princess held a grand wedding. This news finally reached the evil magician's ears. Hmm? That thief stole my magic lamp! I must take revenge! The magician disguised himself as a traitor who collected old oil lamps. He came near Aladdin's palace. Exchanging old lamps for new lamps! That day, it happened that Aladdin wasn't at home. The princess heard the traitor's voice. She took Aladdin's lamp outside. How are you, traitor? This is my husband's old oil lamp. I would like to exchange this for a new one. Oh, no! The princess had no idea what magic this lamp had. She gave it to the traitor in exchange for a new one. <laughs> I finally got it! The magician couldn't wait to rub the magic lamp, summoning the genie. Hurry and move Aladdin's palace far, far away to Africa. Oh, and take me with it. The palace and the princess were sent away by the bad magician. When Aladdin came back, it was too late. Oh, what should I do? What should I do? He rubbed his hands anxiously. Yes, he still had the ring genie. 
Please help me move the palace and princess back home. Ahem, <clears throat> uh, Master, my magic is not as powerful as the lamp genie's, so I can't do that. Then, can you send me to the palace? Sure, I can do that. The ring giant genie carried Aladdin to the palace in a jiffy. Whoosh! Aladdin, you're finally here! <laughs> what happened? Please tell me. <laughs> it was a bad magician. The princess told Aladdin how the magician tricked her into giving him the oil lamp and kidnapped her. The magician keeps the magic lamp with him all the time. We have to try to get the lamp back. Um, let me try. At night, the princess put on a beautiful dancing dress and invited the magician to drink and chat with her. If you think I dance well, please have a few more drinks. Gluck, gluck. The magician saw that the princess had changed her attitude toward him, and he happily drank a whole bottle of wine. Afterwards, he lay drunk at the table. Ugh, villain! Aladdin walked out from behind the door. He reached into the magician's robe and took out the magic lamp, then summoned the genie. Please take us and the palace back to their original place, and toss this evil magician out into the desert! Yes, master! In the blink of an eye, Aladdin and the princess went home with their beautiful palace. Their happy life was never disturbed by the bad magician ever again.